Yo man, so today we are going to make our vehicle look a little better while moving, while turning left and right. But it's not the smoothest movement. It's smooth, but it's like not the movement that we want in a car. It like goes round and then moves, and then turns. And that's not what we want. We want to be a little sharp turning, uh, and it's. So, first we are going to be all the movement and everything that we are going to do today in this tutorial. Well, so first of all, we are, what we are going to do here is we are going to change the front wheel colliders uh, sideway friction to be three stiffness, and the real would be four. So when we go okay it's moving uh, sharp turns but the center of mass is affected S uh, also let's just take everything outside this car and make it 2.35 yeah and these things in it and this will be minus 1.19 uh, 2 and this would be 0 minus 1.2 and 0 minus the center of mass is now changed also the camera will look different yeah I mean yeah still doing these things fix that change the center of mass to be a little more down minus 1.3 let's see okay I'm still doing stuff like that so what we are going to do here is the speed is like it's a little jerky moment or something what is it It's moving. It's it's turning good. It's turning better. Right. Let's just put minus one point five. And play. Yeah, baby. This is what we want. This is exactly what we want. Okay, now it's turning too cool for me. So what I just did is we changed first of all the main object of um, the main object to be a little more up. That would that is actually the uh, 2.1 2.35, and then we changed the center of mass of this vehicle to be minus 1.5. It was actually 0 0.05, and the z-axis was 0 0.5. So we changed the z-axis to zero and the y-axis to minus 1.5 and now it put us in front of you and that is really good I mean uh, there are no any uh, sharp turns on this terrain but it's now when you go straight and you press the space key and move it does not skid like a vehicle should I mean not not in real world not in like public places or but on cracks like you in games you skid with your vehicles and a lot and do a lot of other things like making 360 spins and bust out your tires like you do in GT and all so we are going to achieve that too not today but in future and maybe in the next video today we are going to do some and breaking things so what we have now is when you play the game and you go straight and okay God, wait when you go straight and you press the right key and the brake key or you just go straight and you press the brake key it does yeah we need the vehicle to brake instantly for that what we can do here is create an if statement if so what we are going to 
you do here is if if the vehicle is no we should create some turning things like turning boolean value and all mm, maybe so what what we can do here is we need to create if the if the rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude if the vehicle speed is if the rigid body speed is less than or equal to ten let's just say if in a variable and also if um, the brake is allowed okay and and uh, okay if the brake is allowed and also if we want the variable to be uh, like uh, we want a bool to be uh, to detect if the wheel if the vehicle is turning so make a bool like turning turning and if if the input dot get x is um, horizontal just copy it because I'm not good with spellings is not equal to zero that is like in the minus or plus value if the if this thing value is in plus or minus anything not zero then we are going to change the bool to be turning equal to true else turning into f is false so if the read body velocity magnitude is less than 10 if the brake is allowed and if the turning is allowed so just change uh, create uh, just change the value of brake to be uh, something 10 or 20 anything I mean that's on you so else if else if if this is not true then just break it with the maximum break and and other things are just fine so let's see okay now now it's Just just make it ten. So whenever you're t uh, whenever you're moving forward, uh, plus you press the um, turning any side, left or right side, steer any side, like moving to. Whenever you're doing this, and you press the brake key, and your s and your vehicle speed is less than ten, and your my not the vehicle speed, your rigid body velocity is less than ten. So the m the car will do the 360 spin. It will not do the 360 spin right now. But if we change the variable of the stiffness to be 0 0.1 and do the same thing, then it will do that. I mean, not con continuously, but it will do. So what we are going to do is change these values, all of, all of these values from the front and the reverse to be zero, to be something. So the wheel, okay, sorry, I'm just keep on. So the, uh, so the vehicle would just go 360 spin all the way. I mean, not like that. We don't want this to be like this. This is just some experiment not good just so what we actually did today is first of all we changed the uh, values of the side by friction stiffness to be 4 on the rear vehicle on the rear wheel coils and on the front wheel coils we did the stiffness to be 3 and we also changed the if the rigid body velocity is less than some value and when the brake is low and when the turning is here and then the brake will be 20 so the brake and also with this by doing this we have to change the value of these things too and also 
so we are gonna do one more thing when the break is allowed we are going to do the r body dot mag dot drag equal to 0 0.4 f and r body yeah that's it and let's change it and when the brake is not pressed we change this value to be 0 0.1 again so when we just look at this drag here mm, mm, that's good so when the movie uh, when the move when it is moving you press the brake key it instantly stops and you press the W key and it instantly moves so that's today we did and the moment speed and the turning is also good we are going to be downloading a crack from the unity so we will actually know how exactly the car is turning here we go outside the map so today we did this in the next video we will be moving we will be changing the variables of these all the variables in the wheel colliders not all of these uh, just the forward friction side reflection mostly with the stiffness only because these variables we don't need to change to make our car a skid and something do stunts or whatever um, so we'll be more be uh, discussing and changing these